Gamers. I was just telling my stream. I was starting the stream and I noticed a notification my Discord. What do I see? An announcement by Minehawk that episode 14 reverse campaign has just been released. Fresh out of the oven. It's still hot. Uh, that's why I'm in the lobby. I'm waiting it for cool down a bit. But this is just released. I'm assuming it was tested for bugs. Uh, he does take, because, uh, you know, he has stuff to do. This is not his full-time job. So the missions are coming out every month or two. So whenever it's out, we're instantly going to play them. Without further ado, let's go. For those that don't know what the reverse campaign is, it's Wings of Liberty campaign, playing it from the enemy's perspective. So for example, in the first mission, I, I talked about this last time, in the first mission, you're not playing as Raynor going, you know, to, to kill stuff. You're defending against Raynor. So every mission you're playing as the opponent. All right, difficulty brutal. This mission challenges speedrun. Chrono boost increase speed by 500%, only costs five energy and can be cast on any structure. Zeratul attacks more frequently and starts with more resources. Should we do the ultra... Ultra Brutal. It's been a while since I've done uh, last one. It says not recommended for your first playthrough. Well, in that this case. ancient beacon still thrums with power. I wonder. Yeah, I did do the Ultra Brutal for all of them. Um, is your opponent an AI or human? It's AI. Ah, but the AI I've is much better than the, the campaign one. Colossi sealed away beneath ire. The beacon must have awoken these fearsome guardians. The oh, I know what mission this is. Their dead master. I know what mission this is. Oh yeah, I have a lot of bases. How many bases? Three bases. And there's an AI with me. Oh my god, I have a lot of bases. <laughs> the first overmine That tendril. ancient beacon still throbs with power. Very nice. I sense Thanks for the hot content, Beastie. Pain. Surprise. Death. Okay, so it appears I have three bases. Uh, I need to defend the overmine, so I can't let them capture these. Um, and I also need to kill Zeratul and defend the Overmind's corpse. Where the fuck is that corpse? We need to defend these things. So this is the AI's money, by the way. They have insane amounts of resources. Oh my god. So the brutal challenge is that the AI can chrono boost the cannons and stuff. So what can I make? I only have... Ooh, I have the Giga Boss Brutalist thing. I guess I should just go Brute Lords, right? Wait, am I gonna die? These warp gates appear to be functional. Perhaps well, I can't make Brute Lords. Chance. Uh... What just... Wait, what just happened? What? Did you guys see that? Uh... I just made two Ultras and Lings and they just disappeared. minute I can't oh I get it it's not bugged listen this is how it works every time you make a unit it goes in as a charge we require more. and now here I can spawn them in that attacks the enemy we require more minerals. We require see three ultras 32 zerglings Mm -hmm. 
So the only thing I can control is this big boy. But I can control queens, so I should just make queens with this guy and just do a giga push. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Okay, so now I can't move my units. They're going in as... Bro, what? These Chrono Booster Cannons? This is interesting. See, so now it spawns early. It's look, boom. Huh. That's super interesting, actually. But this seems like a hard mission, baby. That's what. That's why we're here. We're not here to just get in here and the kill us. Overmind tendril. Pain. Okay, so now I know what to do. I gotta produce queens. That's number one. And what units should I spawn? I should definitely spawn ultras for hydras. But there's also immortals. Like, I should just defend here, right? Because it doesn't make sense to let this die for no reason. So I'll defend the right side with the units, and I'll defend the left side with my big ultra. With my massive ultra. Look, it, it deals like cleave damage as well, so it's... warp gates appear to be functional. Perhaps there's a chance. I'm kind of getting wrecked now. Okay, here's their ultra. He has a lot of damage, so I should focus him down, most likely. Okay. Cool. Alright. You just kill these gateways. Can't do upgrades. So for those that don't know, um, this campaign, uh, when whenever you play, You don't upgrade stuff because you're the ones defending. Uh, just like in a normal campaign, the, the AI the AI gets the upgrades over time. Or I think that's how it works in a normal campaign. I might be wrong, but basically you can see on the bottom left when I'm when I'm going to get the next upgrades and stuff. Your title says as Siri mastered, not SC2. What? Oh, really? I don't know why. I probably misclicked that. I mean, I know why. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm getting for waiting for roaches. Okay, we go now. Roaches there. Links there. Boom, boom, boom. So I can't micro these units even after I spawn them. Just so you guys know. <laughs> so now those units are gonna be pushing across the map. How's your day going, cutie? Um, should I wait here? I should. Healing that ultra.
Okay, Zerkle has like no health, so I should 100% focus Zerkle. Okay, yeah, I was trying to kill stuff, not the day Brit. Okay, so the plan is here to make a big ass army and just do a giga push. I have no idea how I'm gonna break this. I think I have to break this first, because this has cannons there, cannons there, and cannons there. So it makes more sense to break this side first. But I have to wait for upgrades though. I cannot do this without upgrades. There's no way. Okay, I spawned some roaches there. Spawn another one there. Okay. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was a lot of stuff. Roaches is pretty good because it will take the Colossus shots pretty well. I think they're attacking here now. Dude, I, I, initially I thought the, the map was bugged. I was like, oh, my units are disappearing. Oh, that's a lot of units, what the fuck? Can I defend this? Wait, I'm getting Greater Spire? Am I gonna be able to make... If I'm able to get a greater spire, I can't even make spine crawlers. I can make infestation pit, which. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. We require more minerals. But I think the best thing I can do is just chill for now. Just wait and just defend. Like, I wish this was a bit better defended. I don't want to give up on this base, though. Uh, maybe make some hydras. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. The oh, AI that's made cannons here. That's that. Okay, Ultra's there. Hydra's behind the Queens. Transfuse, transfuse, transfuse. Need more transfuse on this side. Okay, I defended it pretty well. Okay, so I can't. So I'm I'm holding this side. All right, that's what matters. Can I make a Nidus? I cannot. I cannot make flying units still, even though I got a greater spire. Our allies are in combat. 
Okay, Zerg melee attack plus two research. Okay, that's good. We need that. Money, by the way, starting with 15k. Okay, we need Zerglings for this. Oh, this is a lot of immortals and stalkers. But Zerglings are out. Ah, this is fine. Oh, 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 oh. So it's sending different waves as well, so you gotta like... Oh, Zeratul has been rinsing my queen. Wait, I'm running out of money? Uh... Wait, that's not good. Wait, should I? Oh my god, I'm, I'm out of money. Didn't even realize. Um, hmm, I go for two ultras and I go for hydras. I mean, I, I just go here. I, I, I have to. Should probably just go now, right? I'm worried I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna get attacked. Oh my god, this space is so... Oh. is out of money, but how can I... What do I do with that information, you know? I can't do drops. I want to see what the base looks like. I mean, problem is the AI is running out of money, right? But it's still mining, and I'm actually out of money. You know what I mean? Like I. The second overmine tendril. Oh wait, it's out of money. But how do I beat all these fucking kittens? I know. 
I know. Listen, the AI is chrono boosting probes because it lost some probes. So, chrono boost costs five, uh, but they cost five energy though. I could let AI build here and I could keep destroying the buildings and then the AI will run out of money. So you know when the AI tries to build here, I should let the AI finish buildings and then kill them. And then let them finish and then kill them. See these? Like that's a lot of buildings there I can rinse. What I want to see is the chrono boost on cannons. Does it chrono boost every cannon? It does. So what I could do when I start pushing is run something in here and it's going to chrono boost all the cannons, but the chrono boost is only 5 energy and it has 2 nexus. Let's try the letting him build stuff and then just destroying it. I think that should work pretty well. Alright, let's try again. Ultra brutal challenge. The cannons just do so much damage that it's insane. Sort of attacking, I think I just wait, 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 and then I go once the AI completely mines out. And I'm gonna be more careful with how many drones I make. Okay, I want the AI to push in. I don't want it to stop here, I want it to push in this location so it can These build stuff. Gates appear to be functional. Perhaps there's a chance. Okay, I also won't be making extra hatches. Yeah, yeah, just build stuff, just build stuff, go for it. Perfect. So far, really good. Zeratul and so on. It's like targeting Zeratul last. Okay, these ultras are cleaning up. a lot of gas. I feel like I'm draining the AI's money way faster now than the previous game. Like way faster. Okay, thank you. Oh, you can also chrono boost buildings as they're getting built. Okay. Um, I have a lot more units. I'm definitely draining his uh, resource way quicker, by the way. 100 million percent. but I kept getting... Again, the, the units are avoiding Zeratul. Like, they're not... They're um, completely just not focusing it down, even though it's in front of the units. Which is really weird. Oh, 
feel like I kind of lost a lot of units there. Or queens here, I mean. Oh, these, these roaches are stuck on the platform. Well. Okay, well I did something, the AI is not building anymore here. That is a lot of this. I've lost a lot of uh, stuff there though. And he still has 6k resources to go. Could I bait the units out of the base? Well, I don't know if they're getting baited. Oh, never mind, they're just attacking. Zeratul again! Oh, and I keep missing it, because Zeratul is like doing the most damage. I should just let the thing die. This is this is not attack. This is AI, AI defending. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna resurrect. Maybe it is. I don't know if it was. I feel like they're gonna come this side now, right? Next attack should be here. I could also try predict each attack and move my army left and right, but that might be too complicated. I should kill this. I hope it doesn't stop my upgrades.
Ah, this is a lot of ultras I've just summoned there. We require more minerals. Someone like four, five ultras there. All skirmishes are really good for me. We must place that on creep. That is not a lot of units, by the way. I'm gonna try and drag the AI over here. Okay, it's working pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, these queens move! Okay. If I could make spines, it'd be so much nicer. Okay, okay, it's coming this time. This was maybe the best strategy I could have done. Okay, I'm gonna drag the AI over here. Come here, come here, yeah, yeah. keep following. The thing is, if I lose that base, it's like, who cares? Okay, maybe this is even going to be good. What I'm going to do now... Is... I'm going to actually destroy this creep tumor so the AI can come here and expand. And then I'm going to... Just keep killing the AI stuff here. Okay, like so there's three minerals that just have an absurd amount of minerals on them. Okay, the attack waves are getting shittier and shittier, so I think this is the way to do it. Now, what we gotta figure out is how to do the last part. Bro, these queens are actually... Soft in the head. Ooh, this gas has three and a half thousand gas left. And each of these minerals has like two and a half K. Okay, AI is out of money. AI is out of money. I repeat, AI is out of the money. I got a lot of units, right? A lot of units. Oh shit, I forgot to... No, 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 no. A creep tumor is under attack. I've got to send my dude uh, top left. But it's fine. We'll just buy time. Like, there's nothing you can kill there.
You know, another thing you can do is probably the best strategy if you guys are going to try this. What you do is if you defend the attack and then you just run and attack this and hit a couple of times and then you die. Then you then you get resurrected, you run down, you defend, you run in, you die. That's an even better way to, to optimize and do this. Yeah, like you see these attacks are now like complete shit. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. From defending this attack with just queens. I want to kill the observers because he doesn't have gas. Fallen, okay. Oops! I guess he ran into here and died. I mean, this is definitely the way to go. It's still mining gas. Like, look at this attack. It's so sad. Okay, so I don't need to defend anymore with my big dude. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Yeah, come here. What I'm gonna do is try to activate every cannon here. Okay, that was a lot of cannons here in front of this thing. Bro, what the fuck? Did you get bonus range as well? Nexus energy, so I cannot do what I wanted to do, which is to drain his energy completely. So I'm gonna have to just go like this. All right, we gotta do it like that. Nice and slow. Once I cut this off, I'm assuming there's also a mineral or two that have super high uh, resources, so I can start mining there. Oh, look, it has one Zella. Like, it has nothing. Funny thing is, it's not even trying to attack the top side anymore. See how every unit is avoiding fighting Zeratul unless I click on it? Oh, 
Can I attack this without getting killed from the bottom? Crap. Okay, now we do destroy the Nexus. That's a big part of this. Because Nexus is going to have half the Chrono Boost he has now. Because the Chrono Boost, by the way, only costs 5 energy. Because it's like extra brutal hard mode. Twenty. Th that guy just killed 23 drones. Hello. Oh, fuck. How did I kill this? Cannons? Wait, are they out of juice? They are out of juice! Hell yeah, baby! Woo! This is actually a really hard mission, I think. Like, with the cannons being chrono boosted. But once you, like... This is what I like about these missions, by the way. Because you gotta figure them out, how to play them a different way. You know, it's not it's not just playing StarCraft, like you gotta figure out the best way to approach the mission. And I think that's really cool. Berserk. So different. We cannot <sighs> prevail against so many. It ends in utter darkness. Madness. Jesus. G Gs, baby. That was fun, actually. 4.20 uh, 8 p.m. from the AI. Look, that was pretty rough. I think the best strategy to go for this... I mean, I'd love to see people, like, use different strats than this. Because it'd be interesting. But I think the best strat is you start with the bottom, the top left, with the big ultra. You defend. You run it in a cannon. 
and you keep den denying the pylons and stuff to make the AI waste money, then the moment it dies, it resurrects, you go to the bottom, you kill the army, run in, resurrect, go top, and you just keep doing that over and over. GG's though. GG's and well played. Whenever the next mission is up, whenever Mindhawk uh, makes it, we'll be playing Wings of Liberty Reverse episode 15. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching.